how is PE organised? Um, so I went through and um, told the inspectors that we have two lessons of PE a week, uh, one of which is taught by myself, a PE specialist, and the other lesson is taught by the class teacher. Um, it's an hour, um, a lesson each. Um, at the moment we're still in our post-COVID, uh, we haven't changed, uh, we don't get, let the children get changed, they come already changed into school, so therefore we save the 15 minutes of changing time. So that's worked really well in terms of increasing our uh, content or contact time with the teachers and the students. Um, so each of our lessons are, are an hour. Uh, within that we have um, two different lessons each half term. So the curriculum map is already there and don't, I didn't hesitate to show the uh, um, inspectors my plans. So this is an example of, of, of my uh, annual plan. Um, and then each one is for six weeks, roughly each half term we change two different different activities. Um, I also then showed the inspector uh, around the um, progression of skills. So we spoke about um, going from fundamental movement skills all the way through to our um, to, to, to the end of year uh, year four. Um, so she showed them progression of skills map, which they really really thought was worthwhile. And also the uh, knowledge organisers. Um, these are a great little tool uh, which for class teachers uh, or non-specialists really of each of the subjects, they can obviously access these uh, and gain all the information they need for their lessons. Also in that, um, I showed a, a sample of lesson plans. Again, talking also on their highlighting um, things for more able students and for less able students and how to make it easier or harder for the for the children when, uh, when we're there. So, um, how do you support your uh, most able or your gifted and talented? Uh, obviously within lessons there'll be different challenges set um, and the first point of call is for our class teacher to use the, uh, which, is, which is on the um, less individual lesson plans. Um, quite often I might use the year five and six planning, say if it was a year four student that was most able um, in, the, in the classroom. Uh, they've also got the opportunity to join extracurricular activities um, on a weekly basis and from that then teams are chosen to represent the school team at our local competitions and then eventually if we win the local then obviously it's county uh, county standard competitions where they can obviously thrive. Um, in addition to that, um, in lessons uh, I, I use, often use iPads so the students then can take uh, videos of other people and also of themselves so they can analyse performance uh, etc. So in each of the lessons itself, um, they, well they did really like it and they saw evidence of that when they came to see me, see me teach of uh, the linked learning. So for instance, uh, that'll be seen in pink on your lesson plans, um, but also I taught um, over on throwing for instance outside at Wood, which was rounders, and I linked that back to our javelin lesson that we had indoors uh, with our Usain Bolt uh, technique uh, um, and they really like that. So again, if you can link your learning from one thing to the other, uh, similarly like tennis, if you're doing um, that and, and underarm throwing to get to, to get to uh, to get to the person who's hitting, they also like that because we link that again then to rounders. So they asked you about assessment. Um, what did they ask you? Uh, yeah, they asked me how assessment is organised. Um, initially, I didn't have my laptop with me uh, in in our conversation, but I asked to show that afterwards. And uh, within that, they were really really impressed. Um, obviously we've got the individual lessons that then have the assessment wheels, so progressometers. So we do use those um, every lesson uh, and also then at the end of each unit of work, uh, each, class, each class teacher puts on uh, the grade for that student onto the assessment tracker, tool tracker. Uh, they were really very impressed, they, they looked at the whole uh, pro forma of that and they could see, uh, what they really wanted to know was, is there a summary for each class? And where, where are your pupil premium children? Where are your SEN children? And again, they are they're impressed with that because it, it colour codes who are, your, who are your less able, who are your more able children straight away. And if there's a correlation then between our SEN students and our PP students, that's already there to see on the track at all. So they're really very impressed with it with that as well. Um, they asked you about staff um, CPD and what did they what they ask you with that? Yeah, so with, it, with regards to staff CPD, um, obviously I've got myself here who's PE specialist and that's an ongoing uh, for three days a week. Um, they can obviously come to me with any issues that they have during the time. Um, most of my conversations with our staff, yeah, uh, and all my conversations. Um, however, I do um, 
that we do use our buy-in to the Leighton Minstead Sports Partnership and within that um, we get uh, 20 hours of CPD for staff. So that's in addition to what I can offer here. Um, I said that I offer questionnaires for staff at the start of the year so I do do that and get what their needs are. Uh, this year we had um, ball skills um, and also indoor athletics. So previously we've had um, CPD around uh, netball, um, SEN and how to deal with, um, with those children uh, in lessons. Um, I've also had from uh, Elizabeth Patterson uh, from Primary PE Planning um, Autism uh, training for me in, 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 in school which was very worthwhile uh, for our children. So again we've got a good SEN uh, package which is available uh, and, and use on the website as well the, the, diff, the, the other little tracker uh, that's on, uh, on the tab on the uh, Primary PE website. Uh, they were impressed with that again uh, additional resources that other teachers could use or LSAs could use uh, to help um, SEN students out. But however, they did like in the, in the lesson plans, um, the SEN, well, making, making it easier, making it simpler for students. So again, that's on the individual lesson plans. Um, how do we track progress? Um, again, I identified the tracker tool, which can be um, related to the extracurricular activities. So on that, I put in who does anything outside of school, who does anything inside of school, and again, we can track the progress uh, of students that way. They did ask about links with clubs, um, and I talked about all the clubs that we offer in school. So that's obviously voluntary uh, clubs that we do, and also paid clubs. So I listed all of those activities. Um, I also have links with um, ECB cricket um, and the FA. So um, again, they were really, uh, really impressed that we were proactive with the amount of links we had. Also in the local community, um, I've got links with the tennis club, the cricket club, football clubs around, rugby club. Uh, hockey club, you name it, we've got the links for it. So again, if you can, um, we really like the fact that we're pushing our students uh, towards those. So, Offset asked you about safeguarding. Um, what did you yeah, say? Yeah, obviously we need to know who your safeguarding officers are in school. So make sure you make sure you know that. Um, similarly, if there's any issues, uh, there need to be CPOM, so they wanted us to, to, to have evidence of that. Um, any people that are coming into school, so any coaches, outside coaches, um, they asked about um, DBS checks, whether the coaches had their own uh, safeguarding policy, so, so that was make sure that we've obviously got those on file. Within the PE lesson, the children really like uh, the use of our PE values board. Um, this is the opportunity when they can get their name on the wall in the hall, so any, from any values such as determination, uh, resilience, teamwork, perseverance, friendship, etc. So I have that in the hall for the whole school to see. Is there any key pointers that you would give other P leads? Yeah, I'd really be make sure that you are organised beforehand. So having your P lead overview sheet, making sure that you've read that the night before, um, and then that you can talk about everything that you do in your school. Uh, so the, the offset inspector just opened up with a general question and then as long as you then feel that you can talk about your curriculum, how well you do, sell yourself in the lesson planning, um, the assessment process, the extracurricular activities, all the provision that you will do for your SEN, your pupil premium, your SEN students, uh, and making sure that you're all saying the same thing in your setting uh, and then then, then, then you'll be fine moving forwards.